Hello? Is that you, my darling? I thought so. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Let me help you with your cloak. You must be exhausted. Can I take your bag? Oh, you need to unpack, of course. Take my hand and we'll head to the kitchen. I've been cooking up a storm in here. <laughs> oh, um, be careful on your left. Sorry, I forgot to put away my basket. I'll take care of it in a moment. You're home earlier than I thought you'd be. My welcome home treat still needs a bit longer, but in just a few minutes we'll have some delicious fresh bread. <laughs> yes, I've been making strawberry jam too. Smells good, doesn't it? And the oranges are almost ready to be picked, so we can make marmalade together in a few days. The garden is coming along beautifully, by the way. I'm thinking of planting some pumpkins, and they should be ready in time for autumn, and I could very much use your help. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Oh, and there's a new family of nightingales that have made their nest near our bedroom window, so you'll be able to hear them in the mornings too. Hmm? Oh, you want to sit down with me? Sure, is everything okay? You brought me something. Oh, what is it? I do love surprises. Oh. Oh, this dress is beautiful. All these golden details are just stunning. Oh, oh they look like little flowers. Is, is this elven make? My darling, this must have cost you a fortune. <laughs> yes, yes, you keep telling me I'm worth it. But if you keep spoiling me like this, what will the other monsters think? Soon enough, they will all start wanting a human lover to shower them with love and beautiful treasures, too. Oh, no, I love it. But how did you get the gold to buy me something like this? Or did you get that cheeky, roguish friend of yours to steal it for you? You and your friends turned in another bounty? Oh, two bounties! Oh, that's fantastic! I'm so proud of you, darling. Tell me more. Were they the biggest assholes in the kingdom? A smuggler kingpin and an assassin? They must have been hard to track down, but of course, no one can hide from you, my darling. Mm. Mm. Um, can I try it on now? All right, just a moment. You know, it shouldn't surprise me that it's a perfect fit. I need to remember to not underestimate you. Of course, you've memorized my body. Oh. <laughs> this dress feels so wonderful against my scales. It feels like I'm wearing a gown of flower petals. Um, hold out your hands so you can see how it looks on me. There we go. Let me take your hands in mine, and here are my shoulders, and along here, in the centre, um, the metal you feel is those beautiful little golden flowers. And that's the neckline of my dress. That perfectly shows off my... <laughs> Let's save those wandering hands for later tonight, where I can wrap you up in my arms and cover you in kisses. But let's just focus on the both of us enjoying how soft this silk is. And the colour. You remembered emerald green is my favourite colour. Did the shopkeeper help you pick it out for me? Well, 
the two of you have exquisite taste. It looks perfect against my scales. Put your hand on my waist and hold me close while I cup your face in my hands. Can I kiss you? <laughs> I know I don't need to ask, but I've been reading a lot of romantic stories while you've been away, so just let me be a little romantic, okay? <laughs> I love it when you kiss my neck and run your hands through my hair. <laughs> yes, my hair has grown. Some days it's a little difficult to manage, but I always find a way to keep my beautiful locks well behaved. <laughs> oh, they're very happy you're home too. Yes, yes, I'm fine. I was... I was just worried that someone had hurt you. I know that you're fully capable of taking care of yourself, my darling, and I should never underestimate your capabilities. But that doesn't stop me from worrying about the nonsense you and your friends get caught up in. It's dangerous being an adventurer these days. And not all of them are as kind or as understanding as you are. You worry about me? Oh, you're too sweet. But you don't need to, darling. You forget what I am sometimes, and just what I'm capable of. Honestly, I don't leave our little patch of paradise. Too many assholes with swords out there for my liking. One of them came sniffing about the forest. Though they were just a ranger, probably out hunting deer. I watched from the window as they took one look at the stone <laughs> ornaments in the garden and they ran off like a scared little bunny. <laughs> so when you're out there exploring the big wide world, rest assured that I can take care of myself. <laughs> There's that smile I love. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. You have something else for me? Oh, my darling, you already bought me this beautiful dress. You don't need to. Wait, is that cinnamon? You, you, you brought me spices? Really? I, I was running low on turmeric and paprika, too. Maybe this afternoon we can bake some cinnamon buns? Oh, thank you, my darling. Mm. <laughs> I think you're officially spoiling me. <laughs> so, now that you're back, you need to let me spoil you. Let me just check on the bread. Hmm. It's not quite golden brown, so it might take a little longer, but that's okay. In the meantime, why don't you lie down and rest your head on my lap? I could read you some prose while you ease off and take a nap. You must be exhausted from walking all this way home to me. Lovely. Now, lie down and let me run my fingertips over your adorable face. Close your eyes, there we go, and let's see, which of these should I read? The Woes of Willoughby the Just? Mm, no, not that one. Requiem for Spring? Mm, not that one either. Ah, The Ballad of the Sapphire Queen, I love this one. <clears throat> From saffron dunes to carmine peaks, 
The lands of Zuthradan were haunted by a soaring storm, winged wickedness that hungered for power, control, and all the glittering treasures of the land. Ruler of a horde so vast and magnificent that it had ascended from rumour to legend. Guarded by the Sapphire Queen, a dragon of cerulean majesty, it was a treasure worth risking life and limb for. But in this humble bard's opinion, the greatest treasure was not the cold discs of gold that are so common they can be found in almost any pocket, but instead the gilded light of the Sapphire Queen's eyes radiated more power and beauty than any other monarch that came before her.